Now that the bag lining and the bag body are assembled, it is time to connect them together by bagging them out. Take the assembled bag lining and turn it so that the right side faces out. The inner pocket should be on the outside. Set the bag body so that the right side and all the pockets are facing in. Check to be sure that the straps are still pinned out of the way. Place the lining inside the bag body. The right sides should be facing each other. Line up the side seams of the lining with the side seams of the bag body. The inner pocket can face the same side as the outer pockets, or you can set it so that it faces the opposite side. Whichever side it is on now is the side that it will be when the bag is finished. Line up the two seams and stitch lines and pin them in place. Repeat on the other side seam. Continue to pin around the top edge, being sure that the stitch line of the lining and the stitch line of the bag body match up exactly. The two layers of fabric should lie flat. There should be no tucks or excess fabric. After pinning the top stitch lines together, place a vertical pin at each strap placement notch on one side of the bag. This will mark the end points of the opening to turn the bag. You will sew from one pin all the way around and stop at the other pin. Set the sewing machine to a stitch length of three and a stitch width of zero. Begin sewing at the first vertical pin. Be sure to backstitch at the beginning before continuing to sew along that line until you reach the second vertical pin. Stitch up to the second vertical pin, back stitch, lift your needle and remove the work. Be sure to trim your threads. Check that the seam is sewn from one notch to the other with no tucks and that the seam allowance has remained flat on both sides. Remove the pins from the opening. Carefully reach in and pull out the corners of the bag until the right sides are showing on the outside of both layers. Then carefully tuck the bag lining back into the bag. Now we want to press a fold along the top edge of the bag so that the seam is about an eighth of an inch from the top edge. Be sure the seam is completely flat with the seam allowance facing towards the bottom of the bag. Do the same across the opening. It is often easiest to do this one layer at a time. Before we close the opening, we want to secure the corners of the lining to the corners of the bag body so that the lining does not come up when something is removed from the bag. To do this, reach your hand into the opening and grab the seam allowance of the bag lining and the bag body from one side of the bag. Match the seam allowance of the bag body and the bag lining together and pin across matching the side seams as well. Pin for about one inch on each side of the side seam.
Use the sewing machine to stitch a quarter inch away from the original seam line through both layers of seam allowance. Stitch from one edge of the side seam seam allowance to the other edge, back stitching at the beginning and the end. Flip your threads and repeat this process on the opposite end of the bag. Now that the corners are attached, we want to close the opening. Carefully pin along the top edge, making sure that the layers are lying flat and the lining is about an eighth of an inch down from the top edge. Unpin the straps and fold them up and pin them across the top edge as well. Continue placing a few pins around the whole edge of the bag to be sure that everything stays in place while you stitch. Use the sewing machine to top stitch along the top edge of the bag. Place the top edge of the bag even with the inner edge of the presser foot and use that as a guide to stitch about an eighth of an inch down from the top edge of the bag. Be sure to include the straps as you stitch. Continue until you reach the place that you started. Stitch two or three stitches past where you began and then back stitch before lifting the needle and removing your work. Be sure to clip your threads. Double check that your top stitching is even all the way around and that your top stitching has completely closed the opening. The final step is to place a twill tape label with your name in it on the inside of the pocket flap. Turn the short ends under and pin it in place. Thread a hand sewing needle with a single strand of silamide and whip stitch the short ends in place. Be sure to tie a knot at the beginning and end. Your tote bag is now finished. Check for any extra threads or thread tracing that you wish to remove.